Hello friends, today we are going to learn how you can install Microsoft SQL Server on Mac operating system. Uh, we'll be using Docker for achieving this. So first of all, you'll go to Docker. Uh, on Google, you'll search for Docker Desktop for Mac. Uh, so Docker actually virtualizes the at does the virtualization at OS level. So you can definitely use uh, Docker for achieving this. So you can go to this uh, link, install Docker desktop on a Mac, uh, click on download from Docker Hub. Once you download it, you just have to double click and uh, move that uh, Docker to the application folder. And that's how, that's how you can install Docker on your Mac. The important thing is he, here is you don't need to create an account, but it's uh, suggested that you create account uh, for future work, future use. Okay, so we have our Docker already installed on a computer. So here you can see different options here. Uh, first of all, you have to go to preferences and change the memory because by default Docker allocates. Uh, memory of 2 GB to the it's actually like this 2 GB to your computer uh, to your uh, containerized app applications but when you in increase it to 4 GB it's not an issue and then you click on apply and restart okay another thing another thing is most important thing is to have a kite matic on your computer Kitematic is basically a graphical um, UI. You can use it to do all your operations on Docker. So how can you install it? You just have to search for Kitematic uh, GitHub. Okay, this is a better way to install it. So you click on this link. Uh, make sure uh, to pay attention here. Uh, you just have to scroll down. You don't need to download this one. You just need to scroll down and go to this installing Kitematic. Download the latest version. Click on this and just download this uh, zip file. Okay. Once you download this zip file, unzip it and you'll get the application and move it to the application folder. You'll get the Kitematic application ready. So we already have Kitematic as I show you. So I will just uh, once again show you here. Kitematic. Okay. And you just have to go. Uh, in the containers here to just have to click on new so click new and search for ms sql so you'll get this uh, ms sql server linux uh, since mac has the foundations uh, like the bases in linux so you can definitely use this one so click on create once you click on create it will automatically download it for my case it's already downloaded it won't show it here but for your case it will take about uh, 30 to 40 seconds to download it depending on your internet speed. And then once it downloaded, you go to settings. In the settings, you can rename it. Uh, I can, you can rename whatever you want, MS SQL server. So it will automatically take the, convert to lowercase, so MS SQL servers. This is very important guys, you have to add a key. So it's called accept EULA mark it as yes and then another thing you have to do is set the username and password so your username is sa okay that's your key and then you say password so you have to define the password i'll say one two three here uh, it is very important guys not to make your password just numeric because of uh, some of the security validations uh, it does your especially we are going to use Azure Data Studio, so that is going to do some security validations for password. So make sure your password has enough characters with alpha, numeric, and symbols. Uh, click on save guys, and then go to host names and port. You have to, here you have to change the local host to 1433, that's it. Click on save, always uh, keep pr uh, pressing on save, and then that's it. So once you do these two settings, that's the first setting was changing the memory in Docker. Second was to install this uh, MS SQL server by official Microsoft, by Microsoft, the container from Microsoft. 
and then adding these two variables that's accept ULA as a password so system admin so username we, we can call it anything it's not important uh, this needs to be fixed this should be as it is but this one you can keep as whatever you want okay once you do it you just have to uh, launch start it uh, in my case is already running it will toggle to st uh, start if you stop it stop start stop start that's how it is okay so right now ms sql server is already running on my mac now what i'm going to do is i'm going to install azure data studio azure data studio and you'll get this link uh, non advertised link the organic link so this one download and install azure data studio click on it and click on this one zip file download it and it's pretty simple to install it once you install azure data studio you can open azure data studio so this is similar to ssms that's a sql server management studio for those who are uh, well familiar with the windows version so it's uh, i will show you how it looks uh, just a second it won't take much time so ssms is very famous ssms is not available for mac but it's uh, that's how it looks uh, this one okay so we won't be using this one we are using azure data studio uh, which has which is available for mac and now we will set up our connection so we'll click on new and click on new connection will say the server name as local host and sql login uh, username what will be the username username will be your sa and your password is as we defined so again i will show you how this matches with your catmatics uh, settings so sa is your username password we enter so you can say remember password that's it guys and then you just click on connect it will it, it, it should be uh, make sure you uh, the your ms sql server is running and we have already connected locally to our ms sql server now we will write our first query let's say select at the rate to know the version okay and click on run so we have we are using ms sql 2017 so that's it guys now you can do all your operations all your etl things whatever you want to connect it to the visual studio uh, you can connect uh, my, uh, this one ms sql to the visual studio because uh, basically when you are doing the dotnet programming uh, people prefer to use ms sql server with the visual studio so you can do this also and you can have a power of mac with you so thank you guys for watching this video, have a good one.